hello and welcome to another episode of Ask Cheeky. I'm Isaiah Henkel with Cheeky Scientist. Today's question, it's very short. It's one we get a lot. It's from Zita Renobi. Uh, why do postdocs get paid so little? Um, so we're assuming you're asking about the U.S. postdoc assist situation, although it can be very, it's very similar in a lot of countries, Canada, Europe, uh, a lot of People from Indus, uh, India come over to the U.S. and from other countries to do postdocs here. Either way, postdocs are paid very little. And if you look at the data, um, it's embarrassing. Uh, and it's embarrassing for the NIH uh, because their guidelines for 2017, they suggest that a zero-year postdoc, so a postdoc who just starts getting paid, uh, should be paid over, it's like $47,000, $47,000. And we'll put the statistics here with this uh, video post. Um, however, the average, the mean, right? So the average that postdocs throughout the country get paid is only $46,000 a year, 46000 So think about that. So the, the NIH is proposing a guideline which nobody follows, uh, and the data shows that nobody follows it. They're proposing a guideline of forty-seven thousand for a zero-year postdoc. That's just a zero. That's just the. That's just the zero year, just starting out, right? They're supposed to get paid much more during their second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth year as a postdoc. However, all postdocs, whether you're a zero-year postdoc or a ten-year postdoc, the average is only forty-six thousand. The average overall is less than a zero year. Okay, again, think about that. It's ridiculous. Um, why is this the case? It's simple supply and demand. There's an oversupply of academic postdocs. Uh, you know, it's simple economics. If you went, if your local grocery store got a, a delivery of 500 cans of tomato soup by accident, and they had to get rid of all that tomato soup, what are they going to do to the price? They're going to lower it substantially. It's the same thing for PhDs in academia. There's an oversupply, so nobody has to pay academic PhDs very much at all. Right? So because there's so many postdocs that are staying in academia, uh, labs can get away with paying them $35,000, $39,000, uh, the average of you know, 46 again. Uh, so there is, there's no room. If you get a PhD, there's no reason to stay in academia anymore. You know, we're very vocal about this because we feel PhDs get taken advantage of in academia. Um, only 0.45% of PhDs will ever go on to be professors. Uh, if you look at the data there in a, in a four-year period, there was a study by the National Science Foundation that showed that 100,000 PhDs were granted in four years, um, but only 16,000 professorships opened up. So that's 84,000 PhDs with nowhere to go. That's 21,000 PhDs every year that could never get a professorship, could never, ever get a professorship no matter how many papers they published. Okay, so that is the reason that academic PhDs get paid so little. That's the reason that academic postdocs get paid so little. Um, and if you look at this versus what these same PhDs are getting paid in industry, it's ridiculous. There's a lot of data on this, uh, a lot of it from the National Science Foundation. It's been published in high-level uh, media like the Atlantic, um, the Ro uh, Royal Society publications. It shows that for STEM PhDs in particular, right, for, for STEM uh, which includes life sciences, physical sciences, social sciences, engineering. They'll get paid an average of eighty to a hundred thousand dollars in industry. An average. That's the average pay in industry. And so, referring back to the previous numbers, they're getting paid half of what they're worth in academia. So, if you're a postdoc in academia, you're getting paid half of what you're worth. It's because of supply and demand. It's that simple, and that's the answer to um, your question, uh, Zita. So, thanks for asking it. Until next time, remember your value as a PhD outside of academia and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.